when I came to Casablanca, I was like, there is something special with the coast city, because the um, you dream. When you live at the coast, you look over the ocean and you're thinking, what's on the other side? You know, what's you? It's it's it has this romantic thing, and then it has a dark side always. You know, there is this. Uh, so I mean, for me, Casablanca is uh, is a place that I love and I adore, and I I always I try to shoot um, this film in Morocco, but then COVID happened. You know. So it's always my first choice is to try to go to Morocco and work. Ah, wonderful. I was wonderful to finally come to a country, Arabic country, to show the film. And um, yeah, it feels very special. I, I, uh, I got nervous, you know, because I was, uh, I mean, I have been at many, many festivals and many premieres now. So I feel like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I walked out on the stage and I was like, oh shit. I, I was looking out and I was seeing all these uh, faces that look like me. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah, you know, so it's, uh, no, it's wonderful. I love it. I, I'm very happy to be here. I understand if Egyptians feel a little uncomfortable because the film is shot in Istanbul with Palestinian actors. There are also Egyptian actors, but like, and the style of my filmmaking is also not an Egyptian style of film, but I'm an international filmmaker. It's just as simple as that. I have a Arabic Egyptian background, but I am an international filmmaker. So I don't make uh, Egyptian cinema in this sense and I and so it's complicated uh, because is the film Egyptian in its spirit maybe it's the new Egyptian cinema you know I, I, I don't I don't mind I mean I, I think there is a new generation of Arabic filmmakers universal oh absolutely absolutely uh, 100%. So, Al-Azhar for me doesn't represent the religious... Uh, 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 it's not the... People sometimes, even I have said, and it's not really true, that it's a relationship between religion and politics. It's not. It's the institution and politics politics. The inst power of the institution is it doesn't change. The politicians change, but the institution doesn't change. But it also has a religious side. Of course, and for me, that's a bigger spiritual question, which all humans are wrestling with, which is, how much can we change our destiny? And for a Muslim especially, it is, uh, we know like, destiny is written into our soul when we are born, you know? So every day we have to ask ourselves, how can I, what, how much can I change what is happening to me?